Michigan's police say that they found 17 guns in the shooter's hotel room. Investigators haven't released any details about those guns or about the guns used in the shooting. But based on video from the scene, a lot of people are speculating that the shooter used a fully automatic weapon. It certainly sounded like it. Jen News reporter Isabel Mascarenas speak, speaks with a local gun expert who says a semi-automatic rifle with the right accessories could have been the shooter's choice. To me, it sounded um, definitely um, as some kind of um, a rifle. Felix Yukman, owner of Gunpoint in Manatee County, says it's difficult to tell by sound alone whether the Las Vegas shooter used an automatic or semi-automatic rifle when he opened fire from the 32nd floor of his hotel room. We have a distance, which is um, uh, deafens the sound, and we have, of course, the crowd, uh, the screams from the crowd. The difference between the two guns is important. Yeah, with the true automatic rifle, as I explained before, when you pull the trigger, the rifle will continuously fire until you release the trigger. The semi-automatic rifle. Converting a semi-automatic rifle to a full automatic rifle is not legal. It's 100% illegal. But Eukman says for a few hundred dollars, accessories such as a slide fire stock or a binary trigger make a semi-automatic work similar to an automatic. How close is it to an automatic? Very close. Very, very close. Uh, anywhere between 600 to 800 uh, rounds per minute, where once again, if you took a semi-automatic rifle and you put one of those binary triggers or a very lightweight trigger like a three-pound trigger, it will mimic exactly the same. The only automatic rifles sold to civilians are made before 1986. The most common one is um, an M16 like this. This is a true uh, Vietnam era 1970s. And government approval is tough and can take a year. But despite all the regulations, Yukman says the Vegas shooting shows more gun control isn't the answer. It's going to still to be up to us as a society to see the red flags, to report people that we suspect that are unstable, to do something as a collective to prevent these. In Bradenton, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. Now, Nevada is a gun-friendly state. Nevada does not require a license or permit, and there's no limit on how many weapons one can own. The state does give concealed carry permits, but a gun owner can carry an unloaded gun in public without a permit.